Okay, so in situation A, you're running a subscription business that charges monthly. And the question is you had 100 customers last month and now you have 141. So what is your churn rate? So first off, this does not give us enough information to understand what percentage of our customers canceled. So to see that information, here's what we need. We need to be able to see how many new customers we got in a month and how many customers canceled in a month. So going into month two, uh, we see that we had 100 customers we brought on in month one. They rolled forward into month two. Then we brought on 50 new customers in month two, and then nine of our customers canceled in month two. So we ended the month with 141 customers. So what is our churn rate? We know that nine customers churned. So nine customers. But nine out of how many? So a common mistake you see is that people will take the canceled customers and they'll divide that number by the total customers in the same month. And they would say, my churn rate basically is 6%. But this is incorrect. So if I sign up for a subscription today and then I cancel it, the churn happens when I'm up for renewal next month. So those nine cancellations are nine out of the 100 customers from the prior month, not customers from the same month. So you need to take nine cancellations and divide them by the total subscriptions from the prior month. And that will give you a churn rate of 9%. So monthly churn rate of 9%, and if we copy this formula forward, you see we have 13%, 17, 11, and 16%. So that's how you calculate churn rate. So let's talk about a different situation now. So in this situation, you're running a business that charges annually. So question one is you had 53 customers last year and now you have 66. What is your churn rate? So again, you need the full uh, set of information. So in year one, you brought on 53 new customers. They rolled forward into year two then you brought on 31 new customers, and then 18 customers canceled. So your churn rate is exactly the same. You take those 18 customers, and you divide them by the customers from the prior period. So your churn rate annually is 34%, and if you copy this forward, you can see it ranges from sort of 20 to, to 40%.